Well, most of our country is pretty safe. I mean, there are some dangerous places to be in any large city or, or certain areas of the country where we try to, for the most part, avoid. Uh, but in general, our country is pretty safe. And we have police forces and other places to help make our country safer still. I know many people can remember a time where they didn't have to lock their doors at night. Maybe if you're in a rural community, you still don't have to do something like that. Um, but we have different things to try and uh, give us a sense of security within our country. We have police force, we have neighborhood watch programs, something that lets us know that this area is safely uh, defended and so that we can trust that we can live there in peace. Well, as we continue our study in the book of Numbers, we see that the the census numbers that were also used to encourage the people of Israel to know that they were going to be well taken care of in war, in chapter 2, helps us to understand that this this same force that God has raised up is to encourage the people of Israel that they are well defended as well. In other words, when they have camped someplace, they're going to have all of these people who are going to help take care of them to know that they won't be abused by enemies that come around. And that's what we're going to look at today as we continue our study in the book of Numbers. Hi, I'm Pastor Jeremy Bannister of Heights Christian Church, and we're going through the Bible in five years period of time. If it's always been a goal of yours to go through the Word of God, we invite you to join us on this journey. By clicking subscribe to our channel and the bell for notifications, you can receive a devotional much like this one. We'll read just a little bit of the scripture together and pull one thing from it to help us be more like Jesus. Well, as we continue our study today, we're going to jump in and God goes through the encampment that uh, what's going to happen when the people of Israel camp someplace. They're going to be moving around as a large group of people, but there's a specific way in which he wants them to encamp to give them the assurance that they are well protected. Let's check that out together. The Lord spoke to Moses and Aaron saying, the people of Israel shall camp each by his own standard, with the banners of their father's houses. They shall camp, facing the tent of meeting on every side. Those to camp on the east side toward the sunrise shall be of the standard of the camp of Judah by their companies, the chief of the people of Judah being Nashon, the son of Amminadab. His company as listed being 74,600. Those to camp next to him shall be the tribe of Issachar, the chief of the people of Issachar being Nathaniel, the son of Zuar, his company being listed as 54,400. Then the tribe of Zebulon, the chief of the people of Zebulon being Eliab, the son of Helon, his company being listed as 57,400. All those listed of the camp of Judah by their companies were 186,400. They shall set out first on the march. On the south side shall be the standard of the camp of Reuben by their companies, the chief of the people of Reuben being Eleazar, son of Shedir, his company as being listed 46,500. And those to camp next to him shall be the tribe of Simeon, the chief of the people of Simeon being Shalumiel, the son of Zurishaddai, his company as being listed 59,300. Then the tribe of Gad, the chief of the people of Gad being Eliasif, the son of Ruel, his company being listed 45,650. All those listed of the camp of Reuben by their companies were 151,450. They shall set out second. Then, the tent of meeting shall set out with the camp of the Levites in the midst of the camps. As they camp, so shall they set out, each in position, standard by standard. On the west side shall be the standard of the camp of Ephraim by their companies, the chief of the people of Ephraim being Elishema, the son of Am Amihud, his company being listed as 40,500. And next to him shall be the tribe of Manasseh, the chief of the people of Manasseh being Gamaliel, son of Padazor, his company as being listed 32,200. Then the tribe of Benjamin, the chief of the people of Benjamin being Ab Abidan, the son of Gideonai, his company being listed 35,400. 
All those listed of the camp of Ephraim by their companies were 108,100. They shall set out third on the march. On the north side shall be the standard of the camp of Dan by their companies, the chief of the people of Dan being Ahiazir, the son of Amishadai, his company as being listed 62,700. And those to camp next to him shall be the tribe of Asher, the chief of the people of Asher being Pagiel, son of Akron. His company is listed as 41,500. Then the tribe of Naphtali, the chief of the people of Naphtali being Ahara, the son of Enon, his company being listed 53,400. All those listed of the camp of Dan were 157,600. They shall set out last, standard by standard. These are the people of Israel as listed by their father's houses. All those listed in the camps by their companies were 603,550. But the Levites were not listed among the people of Israel as the Lord commanded Moses. Thus did the people of Israel, according to all that the Lord commanded Moses, so they camped by their standards, and so they set out, each one in his clan, according to his father's house. And so what we see in this passage of Scripture is we have three tribes of Israel from the north, three tribes from the west, three tribes on the east, and three tribes on the south. And when they moved, uh, when they moved out, this is how they moved out. And when they camped, this is how they camped. And they, as they camped, this would mean uh, that it would be kind of a plus sign, kind of a cross, where the tabernacle was in the middle of all the people. And when they, when they sat down and they encamped by that, you had on any side, any given side, 108,000 fighting men to protect the people of Israel on each side. That would be a great encouragement that, guess what? Nobody's going to try and come and do us harm. And if they do, we have men who are at the ready, who would be ready to protect us and take care of us. Not only were the people of Israel ready to go to battle, they were ready to defend. And this is such such an important thing to be able to create a society in which safety for the people is looming. And for you and me as believers in Christ, what that means is we should be very thankful for those who provide safety for us, whether there are people in our military, people in our fire departments, people in our police uh, force, people who are working with our hospitals. When you run across a person who is a public servant for the safety of the people, they they perform the same role as the ready men of Israel um, concerning the camp of the people, is to provide a safe environment for you. And so my encouragement to you as believers in Christ is to, to treat those with honor who are there protecting us in, uh, in our cities, in our communities, in, in our states, because they, they have a tremendous role for providing safety to make it safe for us to walk out. When we don't have that safety, we know the difference, don't we? We really do. So when you come across the, our police officers, our public servants, our, our military personnel that live in our cities, thank them for their service because they're giving us protection so that we might live in freedom and peace because they are ready to defend. And I pray that encourages you today and encourages me too to keep on the lookout and uh, to hold in high regard those who serve our country. God bless you, and we'll talk with you again tomorrow.